Today, we're keeping it real. Instagram reels, that is. Someone take my camera away from me, okay? <laughs> If you guys are new here, hi, hello, my name is Victoria Jameson Kraft. I'm a professional makeup artist and a social media strategist from Dallas, Texas. When I'm not working as an influencer or doing makeup for photo shoots, I help people build their businesses online via social media and specifically on TikTok, which is super fun right now given the climate that's going on with TikTok and the government and everything. I'm not okay. If you haven't yet, be sure to hit that red subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my new videos and tap the bell so you get notified of when I post. Typically. I post two times a week and I'm getting better at deciding those days. It's supposed to be Tuesday and Friday, but your girl's a little cluttered in my life right now. So I get two videos up at some point and that's as much as I can promise right now. But if you have your notifications on, you won't miss out when I do. I wanted to make this video because I am getting so many questions from y'all about how to utilize Instagram Reels for your account as an influencer or even as a business owner. Now, you guys know I love TikTok. I will always love TikTok. You guys can catch me on there at Victoria. Yeah, that's right, the OG, Lil Shorty the baddest. But, 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 good old Zucks over at Facebook. Gotta copy everything that's good in the world. So Instagram has implemented Reels, trying to compete with TikTok. And there are so many reasons why it's not gonna compete with TikTok. <clears throat> I mean, I could get into them right now, but I could also make a whole nother video about it. So if you guys wanted me to talk more about Reels and how it will never be a competitor for TikTok and how it's kind of just a place for TikTok. Basically, Instagram's giving you a place to repurpose your TikToks and they're trying to get in on it that way, but I really don't think it will ever compete with TikTok because Instagram does not want to give people the visibility that TikTok allows. And that's on period. Um, no, that's just my two cents. So that can be a whole nother video. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to use reels okay because it's very confusing it is not straightforward there's a lot going on in the app it just updated there's new fonts there's a new format I just I can't even keep up with it all and I'm sure you can't either and this is like my industry so if I can't keep up with it there's no way all of you normal folks out there who don't eat sleep and breathe social media are just floating along great so I'm gonna show you guys how to use reels how it works where to find it and everything I know as of right now. I want to know in the comments your opinion of Instagram Reels. I want to know what you guys think of it, if you've used it yet, if you've had any videos go viral yet, if you've seen it increase your engagement or your following. I need to know these things, so let me know in the comments below what you think so far. All right, guys, keep watching for a tutorial on how to use Instagram Reels. So I'm gonna do a split screen and show you guys what's going on on my phone, but really quick before we jump into it, I just wanna talk about some of my observations about Instagram Reels. Does that sound good? Number one, they rolled it out early to select influencers and it was TikTokers with large followings, which typically translates to larger Instagram followings, verified creators that focus on video content, and generally very large accounts. So right now, the creators we're seeing mostly on the Reels For You page are big creators, which is a red flag to me for discoverability. Cause TikTok, one of the reasons people love it is because it's so great for small creators. Cause you actually have a chance of being seen. And the way the Instagram algorithm works, you don't have a chance of being seen even if you have a lot of followers. I have 117,000 followers and I get like maybe a thousand likes on every post, maybe on a good day when people like me. So the algorithm on Instagram, just generally, it's not good. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, Mark Zuckerberg, if you're watching this but get it together because your girls out here creating content that no one's even gonna see <laughs> all of that aside I do think there are some functionalities that are a little bit limited in reels that we will see develop my biggest thing is that I think that this is too many things in one app and that's why I'm making this video to show you actually how to even get to it and use it I think videos without the TikTok watermark are gonna do better on Reels, obviously, because Instagram doesn't wanna promote another platform that they're trying to compete with. So I want you to keep in mind that any video you post on Reels has to be 15 seconds or less. It cannot be more than 15 seconds. So I'm gonna go find a video that's somehow less than 15 seconds. I post a lot of like kind of longer form content, so that's an issue for me, typically. Okay, here we go. So open up your Instagram app and you're gonna click the little camera in the upper left hand corner, just like you're uploading a story. Hi, hello, you should be able to see yourself. Um, then down here at the bottom, you'll notice that there is an extra little tab. So you're gonna click on Reels. This is where the magic happens. 
Now in here there are different settings. So audio allows you to add music onto your video. And don't click on the icon over on the left hand side. You're going to click on the play button to hear it before you select it. So we're going to select this like really popular I Love You Baby song. So here you can scroll through the song and decide what part of the song you want. We're going to do this one. Okay, so we've selected our song and the part of the song we want. This is a timer feature over here where you can select two times, three times. One time is just going to be normal and then these slower ones will be sped up when you play them. Okay, so I'll show you an example. Oh, this will be slower. Just kidding. So if you select 0.5 or 0.3, it's slower, but it plays fast when you're recording it, okay? And then it'll play in normal time, but you'll be in slow-mo. And then if you select times two or times three, it's going to play slow while you're recording it, but you will physically be sped up while it's playing back. So let me show you. Baby. I feel like I'm back on Musical.ly. Like this feels like Musical.ly. Okay, so let's just show you guys what that looks like. I look so dumb. I can't believe I'm putting this on the internet. Okay. Um, so that's that feature. We're going to trash that though. So you just use this little discard last clip button here. So if I wanted to do multiple clips here, say I was going to do like, Hey guys, welcome to Instagram Reels. Notice that it doesn't really... It doesn't record my voice, okay guys? Just so you know. Now, we're gonna get rid of that song on the background of it. So if you wanna just record talking, you can record here just like you would on any other video app or stories where you hold down the button. Um, and then you can go in and add different features. So there's effects. You can do effects just like um, you do on your Instagram stories. Those are all available as well. And then there's this really cool feature called a line. So if you were trying to do some kind of transition, um, you can actually see where the last clip on your video ended. And I actually think this is one of the coolest features in it. I'm shocked TikTok doesn't have this feature yet. Um, but I think that's a really cool feature. And then there's the countdown timer here that allows you to count down. So um, you would set the timer and it's gonna count down for you. And then you would be able to talk, 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 blah, 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 and then pause it and then move on to your next part. Now, um, I'm unsure if you can actually just like add a song into the background. Let's see, this is my friend Tanner. So you can't balance between song and voiceover or like in-app recording, which is slightly annoying and a feature that they're going to have to work out. So that's that. Okay, now there is, you know, flash, no flash, and you can upload to it, which is what I've been doing. If you guys want to see a video on how to upload to it, let me know. Um, I hope that clears up some of the features within this, though. So in here, then, you can use stickers on top of your reels. You can doodle. Um, you can type words, words, um, and do all that fun stuff. And then you can also trim it still. Then you're able to write a caption, um, just like you would on TikTok or any other social media app. Um, or you can share it to your stories. So there's two different ways you can do this. When you click also share to feed, it shares it to your normal Instagram feed. Um, and it shares your reels in Explore. So that's where people discover reels. I'm gonna show you that really quick. And I'll say I'm not ready to post this yet. I can go down to the bottom to save as a draft. And if you wanna access your drafts, you go here to the reels, and then you'll be able to see your drafts there. Doesn't that page look super familiar? Hmm, wonder where they got the idea for that. Okay, so now you wanna know how to access reels to like explore them. You're gonna go to the magnifying glass, this is the explore page, and reels, this used to be like video, Reels is the first one. So you'll go there. Now here we can scroll down and if you guys notice every one of these accounts on Reels that's featured is typically a pretty big creator. So that's what I'm saying about the visibility. Like we're really not seeing any great visibility and it's funny because most of these creators are big TikTok creators. So Instagram seems to be um, trying to profit off of that mark. So this creator has eight, 380 on TikTok. Um, 380k but on Instagram they don't have as much so 
it seems to be a little bit strategic in that way that they're trying to make sure the people having visibility are decent creators on other platforms so that is how you use Instagram Reels. I hope that was helpful for you guys. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below and I can make an additional video or do another tutorial for y'all here on my channel. I'm hoping to be doing more and more social media content, so I wanna hear what you guys need to know. Thanks so much for watching and as always, you can click my face down there to subscribe to my channel and click the buttons to your right to keep watching my videos. Like I said, I post twice a week, makeup tutorials, product reviews, all that fun stuff and more and more social media tips these days. All right, I'll catch y'all next time. Peace out, Girl Scouts.